was in the bathroom talking to himself with a gun. I saw everything. He was babbling like crazy. Okay, slow down. Slow down. So now you saw this without him seeing you. I was hiding behind a stall. I have the right to be there. It's the girl's room. I know, I know. I just want to be completely clear what happened. Mr. Prescott happens to be from the town's most distinguished family and one of Blackwell's most honored students. So it's hard for me to see him brandishing a weapon in the girl's bathroom. So what happened next? Then... then he left. I ran out here wondering what to do. Are you gonna bust him? This is a serious charge. I'll look into the matter personally. Thank you for bringing it to my attention. That's it? After what I told we'll you? We'll continue this discussion later in my office. Please go outside with the rest of your class now, Miss Caulfield. Rachel Amber. She looks so hopeful and pretty. I wonder what happened to her. Hi, Brooke. Let me guess. You want to fly my drone? Is that really yours? Is that even legal? Of course. Nobody knows about it yet. Isn't it considered a weapon of war? Uh, you read too many conspiracy sites. This might be too complicated for you. Funny. Warren said you were smart. Please, step back. This day has been so insane. Everything is happening too fast. And none of it makes any sense. These visions, this power. I keep expecting to wake up one more time. But if this is a dream, then I'm not asleep. Which means somehow I did rewind time. So there has to be a reason, and I have to find out why. Okay, I better get to my dorm and grab that flash drive.
I need to go there and grab Warren's flash drive. Come on, Logan, bring it, brah. Yeah! I need to go to my room and return. Go to my room and return Warren's flash drive. Yeah. Oh, hi, Max. What are you reading? Love today or die forever. Don't even say anything. Yeah. It's a bestseller. What to say? Good point. Now if you'll excuse me. Okay. Nice, oh shit. There's Victoria and her mean girls. It's Max Caulfield, the selfie hoe of Blackwell. What a lame gimmick. Even Mark, Mr. Jefferson, yeah. falls for your wave hipster bullshit. The Daguerrean processor. You could barely even say that. I guess you got your meds filled. <laughs> Just... Since you know all the answers, I guess you have to find another way into the dorm. We ain't moving. Oh, wait. Hold that pose. Oh, dude. So original. Don't worry, Max. I'll put a vintage filter on it right before I post it all over social medias. Now, why don't you go fuck your selfie? Oh, yes, Victoria. I'll get your bony ass out of my way. I don't want to mess with that ladder and hurt poor Samuel. I just want to get Victoria the hell out of the way. This main sprinkler valve looks easy enough to use. I could crank the sprinkler up and give Victoria and her clones incentive. I need to figure this out. I could crank the sprinkler up and give Victoria and her clones incentive to beat it. Chill, Victoria. It's just water. Yeah, water on my cashmere. Do you know how much this fucking outfit costs? You look great. I can't even chill on the steps.
Nice, bro. I must have missed something. I should rewind. Okay, let's see if this works. Nice, bro. Awesome. Close, but no cigar. They have to be right under the bucket. Okay, let's see if this works. Nice, bro. What the hell? Are you kidding? Look at this. Chill, Victoria. It's just water. Yeah, water on my cashmere. Do you know how much this fucking outfit costs? You look great. I can't even chill on the steps. Samuel is sorry. Wet, wet paint is not good for hair, nope. Sorry. Get the hell away from me, weirdo. Hold on, hold on. Yeah. We'll get some towels. We'll be right back. So move your ass before I dry. It worked. Don't mess with Max, bitches. Oh man, she looks so sad and lonely sitting there alone. Uh, hey, Victoria. What do you want, Max? I am sorry. That's an awesome cashmere coat. It was. But there'll be another. Well, you always seem to know how to pick the right outfits. I do have some talent. Mr. Jefferson told me. I've seen your pictures. You have a great eye. Richard Avedon-esque. He's one of my heroes. Thanks, Max. I hope those sluts get me a towel before they hang a sign on me. Nice. You deserve a better shot. Yeah. Sorry about blocking you and and the go fuck your selfie that was mean but pretty funny just one of those days you know i know exactly what you mean victoria i'll see you later au revoir I, victoria probably played me Room 217? Victoria, no way in hell am I ever soul. going in here.
Juliet, Extreme Reporter. They live. Okay, this is just mean and stupid. This is like the public DNA of our dorm. How sad. I didn't write anything. I have nothing to say. Obvious, but true. Home sweet home, my favorite cocoon. <sighs> Max and Chloe, best friends forever. Who even says that anymore? I'm going to have to call Chloe eventually and find out what she'll say. The longer I wait, the worse it'll be. Idiot. There's my poor laptop begging me to check in. I am so addicted to this site. Look at these vintage beauties. Warren makes me laugh. It's nice to feel like I already made a real friend here. Looks like Dana left me a little post-it note. Great. Now I have to go get the flash drive from Dana's room. You are thirsty. I'm the worst baby mama. Drink up. Hard to believe I'm 18 now. I'm lucky my parents enabled my photo habit into adulthood. I love that mom sent me a fat box of chocolate coconut bites for my birthday and slipped in a $200 gift certificate. She sure knows how to make a sad birthday happy.
Warren even left me a little message with his flash drive. He's such a goofball. So tell me the truth or rot in there. Welcome to the real drama queens of Blackwell. Let me out, Julia. This is so stupid. Answer, you wuss. <clears throat> hey, Juliet. Is everything cool? Oh, yes, Max. I've locked Dana in the you room because we're cool. What did she do? What didn't she do? Dana's been sexting with my boyfriend. Ouch. How did you find out? Uh, why do you care? Why are you even asking me? You never talk. Just zone out with your camera. That's why I'm talking to you now. What's my last name? Uh, Juliet Mason. That was truly sad. Thanks for your concern, Max Caulfield. By the way, Juliet Watson. Hey, Juliet. Is everything cool? Oh, yes, Max. I've locked Dana in the room because we're cool. Juliet Watson, you, you be nice. Ridiculous. I'm flattered. I didn't even think you knew my name at all. Uh, of course I do. Thanks. I locked Dana in because she was you sexting Zach, my boyfriend. Unbelievable. Would Dana do that? According to Victoria, Dana would do anything to date a quarterback. According to Victoria? Huh. She saw the sext. And Zachary won't answer his phone. Once Dana admits it, she can go. Straight to hell. Max, I swear I didn't do anything. But I bet Victoria did. I know the proof is in her room. I can help Dana, and check out Victoria's room to find out if she is the kind of person I hope she's not. Ouch. Well, at least she puts her photographs out there. Unlike me. She's actually got a classic medium format camera with some awesome prime lens. I hate you, Victoria. No, officer, I'm not snooping. Just admiring Victoria's cutting edge tech. Is she going to get a 3D printer for her dorm room? Maybe I will join her posse. Yes, Victoria has the best retina screen laptop. Let me just... I'll give Victoria props for not posting my photo. And for this nice shot. Boom! This is the email I need to show Juliet. Now I have to print this fast and get the hell out of here. This better convince Juliet that Dana is innocent. <clears throat> Juliet. 
Juliet, read this. Of course. I'm an asshole. I'm sorry, Dana. You are. And I hope so. You really think I'd mess around with Zachary? No, but I get stupid jealous. I owe you dinner. Still love me? And you do my laundry. Thanks, Max. You're like the Blackwell Ninja. Now let's see what Zach has to say about Victoria. You set me free. <laughs> Thank you. Warren's flash drive is on my desk. Almost done. Get the flash drive, and then I'll go see Warren. There's that damn flash drive. Must protect my precious so Max never has to chase it down again. Hey, Dana. Seriously, thanks again. I can't believe Juliet locked me in my own room. Real mature. Victoria is not nice. I don't get it, she has everything. And to pull that prank on a friend? Just because they're in the Vortex Club doesn't mean they're BFFs. I'm in it and Victoria creeps me out. Max, you're smart to be a loner here. Though, Warren obviously likes hanging with you. What do you mean? Oh, nothing. When you opened the flash drive, didn't you see the special folder called Max? Yeah, okay. I gotcha.